Well, thank you very much. I would like to begin by congratulating the IFRI under the leadership of President Mong Briang for initiating the World Palace Conference at this very opportune time when the existing global governance is severely challenged. It is indeed a great privilege for me to take part in this conference. I thank the organizers of this conference for inviting me. Given the time constraint, uh, I would like to make a few brief and very simplified general statements regarding the global governance reform, the economic and financial the governance uh, in particular, and the current economic and financial turmoil. Of course, if I have time later on, uh, I, I would uh, get into details uh, if there are questions. Uh, <clears throat> today, today's the, the global power structure is very unique in the sense that it is neither purely unipolar nor the multipolar. No doubt, the United States is a still dominant power, and that is superpower. But together with the United States, there are several major powers. As such, some scholars describe the situation as unimultipolarity, <clears throat> and some others go as far as to call it nonpolarity. Unlike the previous unipolar world, under, the, under this kind of global power balance, decision making at the global community level is expected to be more complicated and time consuming. <clears throat> I suppose the currently stalled DDA negotiations can be seen in this light. I feel very sympathetic with the Pascal Lamy for his difficult task of the DDA negotiation going. Remember the the Bretton Woods system <clears throat> was created in 1944, even before the World War II was ended. And the GATT was created immediately after the World War II. To make the, this unimultipolar world uh, even worse, the only superpower and that is the United States, is not taking a positive leadership role. Of course, during the Cold War era, the US, which was the sole superpower in the free world, had both strong incentives and economic, economic affordability in assuming the global leadership which obviously involves burden and cost. In terms of incentives during the Cold War, the US had the Truman Doctrine, and also economically, the US had almost half of the industrial production capacity. So the US needed demand from the rest of the world. So the U.S. <clears throat> introduced Marshall Plan for Europe and Dutch Plan for Japan and established the GATT Bretton Woods system. Furthermore, U.S. economy in every aspect was the strongest. But now the Cold War is over and the economic strength of the U.S. is not as strong and its relative position in the world is substantially diminished. 
And so the U.S., I suppose, has less incentive as well as less affordability. <clears throat> and so the current global community faces what I call a serious leadership deficit as well. That reforming the international financial architecture is another area where the global level actions yet to be taken. We all remember that immediately after the Asian financial crisis of 1997 and 98, there were intensive discussions on reforming the international financial architecture. Despite this, however, no major reform measures have been introduced as yet. Certainly there have been some progress <clears throat> made, but the progress made so far has been <clears throat> quite meager. So the economist describes, I quote, the <clears throat> modest interior redecoration. The <clears throat> Even this was the, uh, mostly the uh, regard to uh, uh, emerging economies. And so it is like, I quote, demanding the uh, uh, downloading, the monitoring and the prevent, uh, preventive responsibilities on emerging market economies. Actually, the Asian-like crony capitalism was to blame in this process. On the other hand, the, the expansion of international monetary funds mandate for <clears throat> stricter surveillance of the advanced economies, including the United States, for example, uh, was not properly carried out. <clears throat> and the call for a closer coordination and cooperation among national level supervisory and the regulatory bodies was not fully responded yet. 